Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Mischief, where I talk about my favorite thing in the entire world. God damn cryptocurrency. It's a lovely day here in China. Everyone has the coronavirus. It's insane. Honestly, it looks like in my city of 7 million people, about 4 million people caught it in the space of a week. Insane. The good news is it's looking like nothing more than a mild cough. Uh, a little bit of a heavy fever for some people, but nothing um, that serious compared to what it was like before. Uh, just a bit rubbish because there's not enough medicine for people who want, you know, ibuprofen, simple, even simple medicines like that. Uh, it's just sold out everywhere. People are hoarding it and they didn't give enough preparation time. The old CCP didn't prepare anyone for this. They just kind of stopped all the restrictions um, without giving anyone forewarning, which is a bit shit to be honest but don't expect anything uh anything more from them to be honest you know his shitty governments that's why we're in crypto to keep our money out of the hands of the shitty governments yeah all of them right every single one of them if you think there's a good one please let me know but i don't think one of them exists anymore that's why i love crypto bitcoin gives me freedom what does this channel attempt to do we attempt to grow your bitcoin grow your bnb grow your ethereum bags through decentralized finance through DeFi projects, hot DeFi projects. Now recently you've noticed that I've been doing some partnering with the Farm of Fortune and my community, the Crypto Mischief community, we have combined together. What is our aim? Our aim is to continue to grow decentralized finance in a better way than it's been done in the past six months by dodgy devs right so we have this expanding network now of trust that we're growing out with different developers uh something in my eye with different de developers that we know and trust and i'm just going to give you a little brief glimpse of how that affects uh, me and you if you're invested into the mischief miner also the farm of fortune or even now the network society or the elk of fortune or the cake of fortune right or the upcoming Mischief of Fortune. There's a lot of fortunate people coming up. <laughs> and of course, the, the NFTs, which I was talking about earlier this week too, which have sold out. That's right, 83 ETH in a week. Madness, 100 grand in a week, nuts. Um, thanks, by the way. We hope that we all get amazing passive income for life. from these NFTs. And I think it's totally doable. It really is the power of DeFi, right? Done the right way. So I'm gonna give you a little glimpse through how this is all working and how everything's intertwining from my end. If you want some more information on it, you can also check out Crypto Craig and the Fortune Hunters Telegram group. I'll link that in the bottom as always, where you can really get into his mindset for what's coming up next year, because this is not the end of the plan, right? The plan is growing into 2023 and we are gonna drop some insanity, right? <laughs> Insane alpha, right? Think about this, this partnership. We managed to get $100,000 of volume in a week from an NFT project, which is offering passive income yield through owning the NFTs, right? So this is a very simple idea, but a lot of, I'm sure it's been offered before by dodgy devs, but the thing is that people trust this community and believe that we are gonna do it in the right way. And that's the difference, I think. There's gonna be absolute transparency. Um, the other day, like uh, I bought some NFTs from Horde. They were supposed to give me trading fees or it was trading bots with the NFTs and they were about 400 bucks each. I bought a bunch of them and uh, I got my first payment and we're gonna have a look at that too. This is what is wrong with DeFi because they messed up horribly they used the NFTs as kind of exit liquidity because they knew that their LMS was gonna fail. And finally, when they went to try, four months later, try to actually start up these NFTs to start creating funds, they made an accident with the slippage and lost a huge percentage of the funds. <laughs> like, you can't write this stuff, right? And then they say, oh, whoops, yeah. Oh, whoops, oh, whoops. Anyway, so now you guys have to deal with less funds in your NFT. It's not our fault, it's your fault, basically, right? Because they're not gonna make up for it. Um, and I just don't get this, right? I really don't get it. <sighs> so anyway, let's get through, rant, rant over. <laughs> and we're gonna get through. Also, fucking Optimus, I told you in a video, well, I didn't tell you, I suggested that you probably shouldn't get in. I did go in, 
and I told you that you should probably should go in because it's going, the chart's going to go down. And it did, it, it crashed. And I hope that at least one person watched my video about, not optimist, about momentum, right? About momentum and saw that it just crashed. And, you know, at least he did some of my advice or did their own research after I spoke so frankly on the, the uh, platform that you did your own re research and you decided not to go in. Because if you did go in from the point that I put the video in, which would have been the time of one bond, your bond would have been open today, you would have lost 80% of your money. <sighs> which sucks, especially this time of year. <laughs> It's Christmas time. This shit should be happening. All right, so anyway. So come to my website, cryptomischief.io. If you ever want to get hold of me, you'll find my email at the bottom here and generally follow any of my new videos or my tweets or I want to be updating this website now with uh, the partnership project. So that's the next step. Um, so look out for that soon. We do have yesterday the Network Society launch. We're going to discuss that today. We're also going to discuss the fantastic, ridiculous success of the NFT collection. And we're going to go through the Farmer Fortune, the Mischief Miner, the Mischief of Fortune, and explain a little bit about that. But before we get any of that done, I need to come to the Partnership Wallet, which I do have, which is this wallet here. You can track it if you want. I don't mind. Uh, this is completely funds which are going to be acting as a rehypothecation mirror pool magic for the Mischief Airdrop Miner. So this has been receiving funds from the NFT pool. Um, of 10% of all NFTs sold, the USDC came into this account. You can see there's some USDC at the moment sitting in here, which I need to deposit today, right? So the USDC is from the NFT project. We also have some BUSD that was deposited today, which also comes from the Network Society, because as a partner, as you see me at the bottom of this, I will be getting some of that developer fee. Now, what I do with the developer fee, I don't spend it, I don't pocket it, I'm also going to be combining it into the mirror pool to then earn yield on it and put the yield into the Mischief Airdrop Miner. Forever is the idea. I don't plan on ever touching this pool of money. I might migrate it to other pools which pay high APR, but I will never be pocketing, okay? So what this means on my end is that I will always have this fund of uh, cash on the side earning yield which I can put into the mischief miner or if at any point any other project on the on in the fortune hunters uh, needs injection then I would also be able to pitch in there also this is my thinking for it. it's fantastic right so I just I want to get that part done right now so I can then come to where the pool is we have 8600 stakes so far in BNB and USDT on Grizzly Finance earning Grizzly token right then we would sell this Grizzly token, turn it into BUSD, and inject it into the TVL of the Mischief Miner. Now, I do this weekly. Today, I'll just be stacking up the Grizzly, right? So now sitting with $11,962 in the mirror pool, the forever pool, I would like to call this one, right? And um, I'll be just be collecting that yield and moving it into the, the Mischief Airdrop Miner very soon. So that's cool. So that came from the Network Society, which did get off to a banger of a start. Uh, we kicked straight in with 113,000 BUSD on the first day, which is well, brilliant. One guy did put in 30 grand though, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on him. That is a lot, but there is 22,000 in, in their portfolio balance. The whole idea there would be the same, right? They're using it inside a DeFi to earn yield and then put back into the balance of the platform. This is how these ROI platforms should all be running in the future. It does work really well. So for me, uh, what have I managed to pick up? I picked up a team of 24 people. So you guys are here. So I will be doing some airdrops for this very soon. We'll do one right now, uh, random. Okay, this guy, <laughs> let's see how this works. So we'll take this uh, wallet F1DAF and we can then come to airdrop, I think. Boop, yeah, see, send you 30 BUSD airdrop. See if this works out says your direct deposit was 25 BUSD. Well, you got very lucky today because I just doubled your bag, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna make a more organized way to do these airdrops, I promise, uh, but I just thought I'd try it out on video. Let's see how this works. Um, if you wanna know how the Network Society works, please check my video of my two videos about this the past couple of days. I don't wanna repeat myself, uh, but probably uh, after a couple of days, I'll end up repeating myself because this is a necessity to do it sometimes in DeFi space. There is a learning curve, I know, before this. So that's 30 BUSD being sent to uh, this wallet, OXAFA. Uh, so now you'll have, I guess, 55 BUSD in your stake. 
Congratulations, I guess. Let's see if that's sent. Yeah, now you have 55 BUSD. Nice. Uh, so what's my plan for this? Uh, I'm going to drop some more funds in this. I did a first stake of about 400, I believe it was. Uh, 494. Uh, 400 was about my, my deposit. I've had some uh, affiliate marketing bonuses. Of course, that's what you want to do on this, right? <clears throat> you want to get your link, share your link, because whoever comes in on your link will also get a 2% bonus, right? So you get a 2% bonus and they get a 2% bonus. So that's why, you know, that's why I put my link out because I bonus and you also bonus from using the link. Then you can also airdrop your team. Uh, I, I would suggest like making some incentivized airdrop schedules so that you can really catch a team right and say, okay, every week I'm going to send five airdrops or 10 airdrops uh, depending on your stake. So for example, you could say, if you have more than a hundred dollars stake, uh, copy this guy, right? If you have more than a hundred dollars stake, I'll I'll airdrop you twenty five bucks if you win, right? Fix it for for your budget and how much your how big your network is, because of course the bigger your network, the more you're going to be able to airdrop, because the more affiliate bonuses you're going to get. The last thing about the network is with the prolonged. Uh, growth of the network, I will continue to get given some funds from the Network Society and, as I said, 100% of that will go into the mischief uh, permanent mirror pool, right? And that will be untouchable. Only the yield will be touched, right? It's fantastic. I plan to keep doing this with other things. I think when the bull market kicks back in and I get offered to do some uh, shills or you know, paid posts for projects that I, that, that I like, then I'll probably take quite a lot of that and also put it into the fund so that I can continue to keep this miner pumping because without community I am nothing right I'm just a man in the wilderness so that's how we roll so fortune hunters nfts check this out right let me refresh 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 <laughs> 83 eth floor price 210 usdc now there's already fakes out on here uh, if you type in fortune hunters unite collection you're going to find some fakes for very cheap now the floor the lowest you're going to find these are 210 uh, usdc which is amazing right because we just listed them eight days ago for a hundred dollars each so they're all sold 100 percent of these are sold all of them right that were there were 200 of each they're all gone right so 1000 nfts boom vanished so now if you, what these nfts offer is that every month you will be getting yield from these nfts they are compounded for 25 percent of the month and then 75 percent of the month the yield that the pool the nft pool has earned just like i showed you my pool for injecting into the man you will also have your pool for the nfts that will be then airdrop to all nft holders simple as that because it's compounded inside of DeFi, pancake swap grizzly these kind of safety fi platforms that means that as we move in from the bear market into the bull market your nft will continue to earn you yield and you have to do absolutely nothing nothing right nothing so this was an amazing success and it's all based from the you know the fantastic success that craig did have with the farm of fortune which is still running extremely well today what do we have i showed you i just had this stake that i made of half a bnb uh, a few days ago four days ago and i now have one day left until i can claim myself another 0 0.7 bnb probably about one bnb by that point what will i do i will pocket half a bnb and i will take the other half, I'll put it in the 200 day stake because I want that super high 2% daily for 200 day ROI. Boom, and just continuing to ladder my stakes because even, right, the worst case scenario, this is DeFi, high risk, high reward. I'm not a financial, financial advisor. I'm definitely a DGEN in the DGEN space, but trying to do the right thing. That's the whole point of this channel, of this community, right? As you can see, I'm laddering my stakes. I'm putting half back to make sure that the people that come in after me can also get their ROI. And that means the next thing coming up, oh, hello. When your work is finished. Do you want to show them the tooth that you lost? No. No? Show them the tooth you lost, then I'll get you some juice. See? <laughs> wow. What did you get from the tooth fairy? Bitcoin? Yeah. <laughs> Bitcoin from the tooth fairy. Right, I'll get you some juice. <laughs> I'll be back. Sorry about that, his school's closed again because of the old Rona. Oh yeah, the ma'am! 
Now, I very much see this as a long-term play. I've been getting some emails again from people saying that the APR is going down, but that's simply because the total balance is not going up, right? So if people continue to claim out of it, then that means that yes, the APR will continue to go down. But be rest assured, as I said, that we have ways in which to inject into the TVL. So that's what's happening. So just chill, compound, five days, claim two days, right? Or six days, one day, something like that. If you really do have a really low amount, for example, if I show you the Elk of Fortune, uh, I need to fix that. I keep saying, I'm too busy, man. So we have a similar contract balance with a similar idea. The Elk of Fortune is being fed, injected in from uh, the uh, Craig's other uh, pools that he uses as well, his syrup pools, right? So the balance is sitting around about the same at the moment. And I have this, a similar problem with the Elk of Fortune. As you can see here, I have 19 Elk token that I can either compound or withdraw today. And my basket is full, right? But that's uh, $2, right? So my issue is that even if I compound that, right, I'm gonna get a 6% compound bonus on it, but that's me paying 40 cents roughly in gas for that. Uh, so it's not working out financially at the moment. So what I have to do is I need to go and put more elk into the miner, right? That's the only way I'm gonna be able to achieve my ROI at the moment. I need to put more skin in the game. So that is really the only way that I can see myself getting that ROI, I need to uh, dig in. What I, the mistake I made uh, with this uh, miner was that I compounded it completely 100% for a long time while the TVL was really high and the APR was really high. But it meant that actually uh, I didn't get my, my ROI <laughs> yet because, <clears throat> because I should have been taking profit about once a week and then I would have already had it, I think. So these are the different strategies that you've got to think about. Don't just compound 100% but don't claim 100%. Just try and get a balance, your balance that's right for you. It's usually the right way than always uh, the best approach for any of these ROI dApps. Telling other people about them also, you know, the Mr. Vera, the man has an 8% referral bonus. So if you just refer people onto the man, then that means you're gonna get way more shit coins and then you're gonna ROI faster also. That's another way. Uh, so what's coming for the future? We do have the Mischief of Fortune, which will be coming out next year. This is the next plan after the renowning fantastic success of the NFTs selling out, right? We're gonna be launching uh, the Mischief of Fortune. Now this is gonna work similarly in the way to the Farm of Fortune, right? Which has been, a, um, it's had what, four or 5,000 BNB staked in this in total so far? Unbelievable, right? And continue to go from strength to strength. That's hundreds of BNB coming into this every single day. Unbelievable stuff, right? So the Mischief of Fortune is gonna work in a very similar way to this with USDC token, and it's only gonna have one plan, which is gonna be 1% daily for 360 days. Okay, the reason we're only gonna have one plan is just to completely simplify it, right? And I think it's a pretty good idea. It's gonna have the same idea, everything that's deposited into this, half of it will be taken out and put into syrup pools to make additional income and then come back into the Mischief of Fortune. And then from there, it's going to actually fund into the Farm of Fortune, right? Making sure that this can continue for as far as possible. Then the Farm of Fortune funds into other uh, dApps like the Elk of Fortune or the Mischief Airdrop Miner, where I, I'm also creating pools where I made par partnerships with the Network Society and funding it too. It's this community of solid people. We're all working together and making utility, right? And what's gonna happen is as our bonds get stronger and the success gets bigger, the community gets larger, and you guys are all here too, it means that we, together we're gonna be able to be successful. And this is how communities get born. This is how communities explode into you know, the megasphere of DeFi. And I think that's going to happen. I'm 100% sure it's going to happen. So let's roll with it. <laughs> so what do we have holding for the future? We have the NFT rewards, um, which will now be compounding and rewarding you every single month. Fantastic stuff. We have the continued success of the Farm of Fortune the cake of fortune, the elk of fortune, and the man, right? We have the future release of the mischief of fortune. And then after that, we have the much, much talked about token launch, which is still being discussed how we're gonna get it all tied together. But from what we're, we're uh, from what's going through with our discussions, it's getting really, really juicy. And it's not anything I've seen before in DeFi. It's taking the best bits from other places for sure. 
if we can do 100,000 in seven days on an NFT launch, and if the NFT successes do continue, as I really do think they are going to for everyone, by the time we get around to launching this token, it's gonna absolutely fly. How do you get into the pre-sale of the token? Well, you know, you gotta hold the NFTs, that's right. So if you don't have one, maybe consider trying to catch one on a cheaper price. But as I say, the floor is 210. We go from price low, uh, recently listed, what they're listing at, 210, 285. Yeah, 285 for these. So if you do want to get one in the second hand market, you gotta, you're gotta going to have to try and be pretty sneaky about it. <laughs> Good luck sniping some NFTs. And I will catch you soon where we'll talk about other DeFi projects that I'm in. Um, just to end, you know, so we were there, the Network Society, which is now funding the MAM. Great stuff to see there. We have the Farm of Fortune, which is just going from strength to strength. We have the MAM. We have the upcoming Mystery of Fortune. We talked about Grizzly Finance. It's great. It's, you know, not part of the Fortune Hunters, but it is a great platform and we do utilize it quite a lot. They did just launch on Ethereum, by the way. Uh, I think today it's happening. So check that out. You're going to be able to farm stable stable coins on Ethereum, very tasty. I'm thinking about moving my stables over to Ethereum just to do that actually. We talked about the cake of fortune. We talked about the elk of fortune. And if I missed anything, please let me know. I have been Richie Crypto Mischief. Just a little update today on what's happening in the crazy world of DeFi. Peace, don't get wrecked.